Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and that you are... Hello. We've, we've got a little bit of a different setup today and I'm sorry that this video is late. I came down the road... Missy, that's really not helpful. I came down the road for training and obviously for Christmas and in the midst of that I forgot what day it was. So it's a little bit late but it's okay. It's okay, please forgive me. But anyway, today I wanted to bring you something short and sweet and I wanted to bring a seven days of prayer. So I'm gonna do this as well, but I feel like sometimes my prayer isn't very targeted and I feel like I need to be a little bit more specific. So that is what I want to do with this and the dog is just attacking me. Please, please give this video a like and subscribe for Missy because otherwise she's gonna get really upset. But anyway, we're gonna go through seven days of prayer, if Missy will let me. You're standing on my phone, which has my notes on. Okay, day one. Now you can start this on a Monday, you can start this on a Tuesday, you can start this on a Sunday, you can start this on whatever day you want to start on. But day one is prayer for pastors. Now I think sometimes we forget to pray for pastors. I know I definitely do, but yeah. Pray for pastors is day one and just pray that you can that they can be filled with the Holy Spirit and be be wise. Missy, I'm trying to film. Get out of my face. Day two is for our parents or children or specific family members. I'm sorry about all the noise. So yeah, day two is for family members and parents. Day three is for the government. Now I think sometimes I definitely forget to pray for those in charge. You may not agree with who's in charge but at the end of the day God put them in charge. So I think that day three is really important to pray for our government and our leaders whether that's in the UK, whether that's in the US, whether that's anywhere really. But prayer, pra prayer, prayer, prayer for our government. Number four is gratitude and I feel like that's not a specific thing to pray for but pray about gratitude. I think sometimes we can list off things that we want God to give us or God to help us with and we forget to be grateful for what God's actually given us. Number five is our church, people in our church, people who um, are touched by our church, that our church can be a place which draws people in which helps people just in general for our church and the people in it day number six and this is a massive one for this year is health so our health our family's health our friends health just continued health and well-being and that's mental and physical as well so obviously prayer against anxieties and worries and stresses. And number seven is for any non-Christians that you may know that you may not know God knows them at the end of the day so for any non-Christians I think this is such an important thing to pray for because we want them all to be in heaven with us and we want God to touch each and every person so yeah number seven is the biggest one for me and that is for non-Christians, that we have the opportunity to reach into people's lives and that God gets the opportunity to help people. So I hope that this video has been helpful for you. I know it's been short and sweet. I apologise again for it being late and I apologise for the distractedness that is caused by this little monster here. But yeah, please, please guys, if you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any prayer requests as ever, drop them in the comments or drop me a message on Instagram. I totally am fine with that. But yeah, stay safe guys and stay sane and I love you guys so much. Missy, say bye.